Let me get around. Get ready. Get out of here. Close that door. I don't want the kids. <laughs> Anybody out there? What's going on, guys? Let me fix this fucking thing here. What's going on? Let's see. Mark Vec 14. What's going on, bro? Jeffrey M. Kelly. Al. Whatever the hell it is. Alex. Whatever. 825. What are you doing? What's going on, uh, big dog? How you guys doing? Mark, what's going on? Uh, train without limits. Guys, I'm not in my own house. Uh, I'll explain that to you in a minute. Richie Delarosa joining. What's going on? Keith Down. Hey, Keith Down. How you doing, brother? How you doing? I feel like I just saw you. And I, and I did yesterday. What's going on? Always good to see you. James BBBB, whatever the frick that is. I love you. How you doing? Justin, how are you? Uh... Yeah, yeah, you know the story. I just got home, guys, from uh, from that. America, what are you doing? I wish you, I wish I saw you out there. We would have we would have had a good time. I saw your boy out there. Uh, I told him to say hello. and He's going to give me a message, but I, I hope all's well. Um, ask big. Oh shit, my boy, Big Frank. Wait, let me get him on here because Big Frank's going to join us. I hope I do this right. Oh shit, where's this thing? Wait, Big Frank, I'm coming. Wait, hold on. Ah. Go live with Big Frank. All right. Oh, in, uh, Ohio. I just got home. Uh, What's up? Strength addicts, Christian. There he is. What's up, brother? This guy's a monster. Monsters <laughs> do <it> exist. <laughs> What's up, brother? How you doing, my brother? Good. How are you, man? All right. You know, I got home a fucking... I'm sitting here and I, you know, I, I got the... the um, let's see my face. I got to duck down. I'm in my sister's house. Uh -huh. All right? Because, you know... Uh, New York, lower New York got hit with a really bad storm and there's no, no electric. So I got home to no electric. So I'm sitting freezing my nutsack off of my house with no electric. Nice. So I don't know over here. So if I know that, hey, Crystal Wildfire Anthony, how are you, my love? Um, so, you know, if I knew that, I'd be like, forget about it. I would have stayed with Christian over there yeah. in, uh, Ohio for an extra day. You know, yeah. hey, but you, I gotta, I gotta give one shout out to my friend, Louis Marco. You fucking Momo. Yeah, William Bonac. He's not going to even place in the top six. <laughs> he won the show. I mean, we if you're 110 pounds, should, should you really be making predictions? That, well, that's what he said. Yeah. My prediction, you will never top six. You won't even go back. You fucking Momo. Hey, <laughs> hey Louie, come back on the show. I, it, come, well, come on the show. I'll fucking, I want to school you. <laughs> Pull the back of your pants down. Give you a little spanking. Make a little spam. Ham in your can. Anyway. Oh, dude, I just left my balls off. I was, I was telling William Bonac, bro, your boy Louis Marco. Fucking boy, was he wrong, huh? You yeah. know what I mean? Give me a break. He looked Holy awesome. Crap. He looked. Huh? Like, he looked awesome. He did look awesome. Bonac Holy looked awesome. shit! You see his legs, dude. I, he, dude, he's his legs are he. Everything on him sick. His yeah. arms. And yep. he's only like my height. I'm five foot six. He's like five foot six. He's, we're yeah. exactly the same height, you know. Yeah, he he looked amazing. Yeah, he did. I'm glad. I'm glad because that fucking Louis Marco, that bullshit. Oh, oh, he ain't gonna place in the top. Who did he predict? Uh, I he well he I don't know he didn't I don't know who he predicted to win. Yeah. All I know is he predicted that William Bonac was finished, and. That's, that's, I love every second of that. Yeah. I'm glad William Bonac won just because of that. So, if any of you guys, you Louis Marco fans, you follow that fucking nut job who has spent no time in this industry. He's just a guy who sits on a fucking computer, tapping away. Look at this guy. Oh, sinful guys. Oh, this. I've been in this industry when Louis Marco was a sperm cell fucking in his daddy's balls. I, and, and minus another 10, 15 years before that. So anyway, <laughs> I just have to say that. I know Strap Addicts likes that. Oh, my God. So how's the weather up there? How was your drive home? I, it, I mean, perfect. Tell everybody. I know that, perfect. How long did it take you to get to Ohio? Uh, over seven hours. It, 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 was, it was ridiculous. And the worst part about it is I cursed myself because I left – thinking that I'm going to avoid everything, right? There's, right. there's going to be no problem whatsoever. And as soon as I get out of Buffalo and get out of Erie, you know, all of a sudden, you know, I, out loud, I go, ah, I avoid that. And then all of a sudden, snow, ice, fucking typhoon, 
cars off the road. Uh, police cars are trying to push people back onto the road. And I'm just like, well, this is going to be a fun another three and a half hours. So whatever. I got there. You know, I'm not going to say I didn't almost chicken out a few times, you know, and, and say, fuck this. But um, I, I kept driving and I probably should have done the smart thing and like stopped and stayed somewhere overnight. You know, I kept driving, but bullheaded. I'm like my father. You know what I mean? There was no way. I, that would have been quitting. So no quitting in this family. I hear you. That's crazy, though, driving in that fucking snow. But then you start saying to yourself, fuck, if I turn around, now i got to drive back in the snow exactly. back. It's the same shit, you know? Yeah. But, you yeah. know, why the fuck doesn't Arnold fucking push this shit one month ahead, just in the first May. week in April? May right? would be, May, well, April would be perfect, because then there's a pro show in May and then a pro show in June. So then someone could hold their condition and do a few shows. You know what I'm saying? So I think that'd be awesome if it was or in... Or swap the in, Olympia. Wouldn't yeah. it be better off going to Vegas in the first week in March where it's fucking warm out and maybe go to fucking Ohio in the first week in fucking yeah. September? Like, you know, I mean, swap I guess, I guess that, makes too much, that makes too much sense, I guess. I'll bet you anything back after Arnold won his last Olympia, right? He mm -hmm. was smoking weed and he's sitting around and he's telling his friends, wait, wait, I just got a great idea. Check this out. I'm going to run my own show one day. Yeah. And guess what? I'm going to call it the Arnold Classic. Yeah. And I'm going to hold it every year in Ohio. Yeah. And, and wait, 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 it gets even better. And I'm going to do it in the winter. And guess what? <laughs> Everybody's going to go. And his friends are like, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're, we're all fucked. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and I'll tell you, the weather there was nice. Yes, for I mean, the first time. See, I don't mind cold. I like cold because it was so freaking hot. I mean, you, you got near me. I was drenched. Um, I like being able to step outside and it's cooler. Other people, you know, they're turning blue. But uh, I like I like cold weather. Well, you know what it is? You're a big guy. So yeah. all my everybody I know when they're big guys... God, they gotta have it cold. Like I, I'm not a big guy anymore. But I used to. Have, I still have to sleep. When I sleep, I need Arctic temperatures. You know what I'm saying? I can't st like if I'm sticking to the. If my balls are sticking to my leg, I'm like forget it. You know, if I gotta peel that shit off, you know, I'm like no fucking way. It's too hot. You can't sleep in that. But that's, <laughs> that's it. exactly I like what I said. I said that to someone at the expo. I go. All right, it's too hot in here. I'm sticking to my leg. And they're looking at me like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? And then I said, it's, it's getting even, even warmer. I feel like uh, my cock just put on a turtleneck. So then they're staring <laughs> at me like, what the hell's wrong with this guy? So, oh, well. That's, that's great. But, dude, you, meeting you in person, you are a big fucking guy. You look like a human wall. Boom, boom. I mean, now, I knew Rich Piana. You're wider than Rich was. I mean, Rich was big and had that round belt. You're wide, man. Yeah, Holy thanks. fuck. Thanks, What man. size shirt do you wear? Like 6X or something? What the yeah, hell? Yeah, like, like 5 or 6X. Like, uh, usually with, like, a button down, I'll do 6X. And then I, it looks, like you were talking about, it looks like you're, you're wearing your dad's smock because then the rest of it is, is all fucking huge in the body, so... I usually try to find shit that's, like, stretchy, you know what I mean, and, and really test the fibers on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, well. Dude, I, don't, you, yeah, I mean, you were humongous. By the way, Crystal Wildfire just said she hates when it sticks to the side of her leg. Over <laughs> 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 Let it go, Crystal. You love that. Yeah. It's different with a girl, though, you know. But, um, uh, but, but you and I, we had a lot of fun over yeah, there. Yeah, telling all we. It was we told a, a lot of stories. There's shit we can't even talk about on here. But, I know. You know. I got to know. All right. I got to hear this story. What happened? What? Oh, 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 I see. Yeah, I was telling everybody about, you know, I pranked Arnold. What happened was I was in the bathroom, okay, upstairs at, uh, uh, what, I, I don't remember. We were in a restaurant. But I was in the bathroom, and Arnold came in, and, uh, you know, he had just walked in. And then when I got out, I was with Preston. You, you, you know, you know Preston. These mm -hmm. these guys don't know him, but it's a guy that formulates the the stuff for uh, for for Iron Mag Labs. Yeah. And uh, Arnold Arnold was at the fucking thing, and he looks at me, and he he hits me with his elbow like this, right? <laughs> Just, you know, to say hello, like you know, looking at me like that, because I've known the guy since 1976. So yeah. I said to him, dude, I shake. I shake your hand, but I just had my hand on my cock and I haven't washed it. And he goes, well, then I guess we're not going to shake hands. And we were laughing. So we started washing. We were both washing our hands. Yeah. And on the other side, Preston 
was washing his hands at the other side of the sink. So, uh, you know, Ar Arnold starts talking to me, and Preston goes, Arnold, do you, you know Greg Valentino? I work with Greg Valentino. I work with Greg Valentino. And he starts going like this on his back. And I told Arnold, Arnold turns like this because Preston's going like, you know, like hitting on yeah. his back like that. So I told Arnold, I said, well, you see, he just washed his hands. He's wiping his hands on your back. And Arnold goes, what? Like this. And it fucking Preston, Preston freaked out, bro. He had a fucking meltdown. You fucking <laughs> asshole. Uh, Arnold, I'm not wiping my hands on your back. I'm not wiping my hands on your Arnold, I swear to God. I swear to God. And I told him, relax, dude. He knows you're kidding. You know what I mean? <laughs> Holy Christ. You know, so Arnold's like, he goes, can I get my picture taken? And Arnold goes, you want your picture taken? And he looks at me and he goes, let's go. And we left. So we left <laughs> Preston there. He was so upset. He was like this as the rest of the night. I should have got my picture taken with Arnold. I should have ran out after him. But, you know, I felt stupid after that. You know, I told him, relax, Arnold, knew you were kidding, you know? <laughs> but it was funny because we uh, we both walked out of the bathroom. We left him in there because, you know, after Arnold said, yeah, you want your picture? Say goodbye. And he left. <laughs> and then uh, I was, you know, Patrick came over and I brought my girlfriend over to Patrick Schwarzenegger. But it, it, it was funny because, you know, Preston was really upset with me because, yeah. I, but I told him he was kidding. He, yeah, you know, yeah. he knew you were kidding because yeah. he was rubbing his hands on his back like this, talking to him. And I'm like, he's drying his hands off on your jacket, you know. I don't think everybody back. gets our sense of humor. Like we were laughing the whole time. Your girl's awesome. She was cracking me up with some of the stuff she was telling me. We were having a ball, but you could tell that some people were looking over, like, "What's wrong with these two? You know what I mean? Like, they think, like, we're simple or something because they don't understand why we're laughing so hard over stupid shit. Like, the girl you came over when you told the shit story. Oh, yeah. yeah. The girl with the blonde hair, and she's looking at you going, hmm, that's <laughs> that's interesting. And I'm dying. I couldn't even breathe. I was laughing so hard. So, whatever. Well, you know, it is. I, I got, you know, people don't realize it. Like, you know, I'm one of them fucking guys. <laughs> it's a countdown. If I got a shit, bro, and I'm even, even at that expo, if I got a shit, I got a 10 second countdown or I'll give you a fucking show. You won't fucking believe it. You'll be all over fucking this Valentino shit. This bit. You know, so that's why I really don't eat much. And then yeah. Christian gets us that, that pile of grass with like four pieces of meat in it. And I'm like, dude, I can't eat that. I'll shit my fucking pants right here. And I'll, you know. <laughs> You see, uh, people don't realize when you work these expos, man. Uh, my bike, my boy Mike, turnpike's on here. Hey, Mikey, what are you doing? Um, when you work these expos, people don't realize that you're on your fucking feet from early in the morning to the end of the night. You're afraid to, you know. I get nervous to eat. You know, you want to eat because you want to stay filled out and everything like yeah, that. Yeah. But I'm the kind of person I eat. My body's a machine. It's like, okay, you wait, and I got to get rid of whatever you ate last night. You know, yeah, yeah. so. Uh, Christian wrote no letters for Greg. No, you know, they were bringing us like, here, here's the Spanish. First of all, uh, you know, my girlfriend, she's Latin. She'll eat anything fucking spicy in Spanish, but I can't eat that shit. Yeah. It works like fucking a laxative on me. You know, it's a pile of grass with a like, meat in there. I can't, you know, and I'm like, fucking dude, I'm going to kill myself with that shit. You know, <laughs> and somebody, one of you guys out there, I'm not sure who it was, but hilarious. They I know you're going to say it. I was. <laughs> <laughs> they brought me because listen guys sometimes when i do this show here i pee in a bottle i got a bottle underneath the fucking table it's not a bottle it's like what frank's drinking out of no i'm just kidding you it's a it's a um it's like a you know like tied like you know the fucking shit you know the what do you call it the laundry detergent it's got a big hole opening like that i just drop my gagoots in there and i pee you know <laughs> I did it when I was doing King Kamali. I did it once with Christian. I, I don't. I might have done it with you. I don't remember. But sometimes I got to pay. Just, I'm in my sister's house, so I can't do that now. Yeah. But so some guy brought me a catheter. At the, yeah. right? Is that what they call that? A catheter, a catheter right? I got a thing with a thing. So in case I got to pee, I just leave my dick in there while we're talking. <laughs> but I, you got to remember, I'm going to be 60 years old in like two years. I'm going to be a year and a half, two years. I'm going to be 60 years old. So when I got to pee, bro, I got to I gotta go. You know what I mean? Go yeah. from zero to 100. I could not have to pee right now. And then in one uh, couple seconds, I got to pee, and it's bad. I got to pee bad. I go from not having to pee to peeing bad. You yeah. Know? So it's a little crazy like that, you know. But anyway, I tell you, a we, lot of people. Go. We had a good turnout. It was, it was definitely a good turnout. Saturday was packed. You couldn't even move Saturday. Forget it. Oh, yeah. It was crazy. It, 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 we had a great turnout. Not for nothing. Can you imagine? I mean, we were in a fucking side alleyway there. But, I mean, if we were would have been on an end cap, 
you know, we would we would have we would have really fucking you know we would have really you know been forget about it. You know, yeah. the yeah. funniest thing is when we went over to Lee Priest because you got me and me and Lee Priest. You know, <laughs> we're just you know I'm five six. I don't know how tall Lee is. Every you know it depends on what shoes he's wearing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, you know it we're around, you know he's about five six five five. And you're like this fucking monster. You know what I mean? <laughs> did you, you know, see the Did you see the picture? Uh, yeah, I did see the Lee Priest been texting me to shit all fucking day. I'm I'm like, holy Christ! You you know you look like a fucking mountain. You know what I mean? <laughs> he I walked up. He went just like this. <laughs> 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 it was pretty funny. <laughs> oh uh, shit! Uh, <laughs> People that don't know you, that like have only seen you on the internet, they don't realize you're a big guy, my God, but broad, the width. Yeah. How much do you weigh right now? I think it was 363 this morning, something like that. Oh, really? Yeah. 363? Yeah. Oh, see, you lose weight. You must feel skinny, right? Yeah, no. yeah. I lost like five, I lost like five pounds because we didn't eat so many meals over the week. <laughs> I know, right? We only had grass with a little. Yeah. Couple of <laughs> but <laughs> people are like, what are you talking about grass? It's shredded yeah. lettuce with chicken. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is good, you know. But I, I mean, if I was home, I could eat that. But if, you know, when I'm when I'm not home, bro, if I eat that shit, forget about it. You know yeah. what I mean? It's not, yeah. it's not. It's not a good thing. But um, wait. You know, you know, one thing I noticed: there aren't that many freaks walking around anymore. Well, that's what Christian was just saying. It, we, yeah. we saw a lot of people yeah. know, just walking around with knapsacks looking for free shit, yeah. you know, which I don't blame them. I, you know, I take free shit, too. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but a lot of companies weren't really giving out stuff. And it, it, it's it, there were a lot of, like, old people. People I, Like, it was a strange crowd. It was a strange crowd. And, I mean... <sighs> Remember how last time we were talking, we said I said that everyone these days kind of they strive to be mediocre. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's awesome. That's awesome. I mean, be as healthy, be be as whatever as you can be. But when you walked around, it didn't seem like it was the Arnold that it had been in the past. Because right. in the past, you would walk around, you'd see you'd see so many people, you'd be like, "Holy fuck, who the hell's that? Who the hell's that? Who the hell's that?" Because you see, you would see guys that are bigger than the pros. You know what I'm saying? And you don't really see that anymore. And I'll tell you what's really funny is last night, just for the hell of it, I was like, oh, I wonder if any guys, you know, got some live feed of uh, of the, the expo, right? Because I want to show my kids. There's a ton of live feeds and there's a ton of videos on YouTube, but it's all from like kids. You know what I mean? Like little, little guys that are like 160 pounds and all flexing. And, and that's cool. That's awesome. But no one's really doing it anymore. No one, you know what I mean? Like no big guys are really doing like, you know how rich would, would do his YouTube channel and he'd go around and show like the freaks that were out there and stuff like that. It, it, it they're a diamond. Like you can't find them anywhere. You know, it's really hard to see big guys anymore. And I, I don't know. It's strange. It's not like the Arnold that I'm used to going to where you walk around and like, you're like, Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy, you know what I mean? You would see so many big guys. It, I don't know. It's, it's well, even at the booths, there wasn't yeah. a lot of big bodybuilders at the booths. No, people going because these supplement companies are cheap cocksuckers. They don't want to pay fucking guys anymore, to, and they don't want to give out free samples, but they want to fucking sell supplements. But yeah. even at the booth next to us, it was lazy. You know, people for getting laser for their eye surgery. Yeah. You know, chick, and then the booth across from us, they're selling rubber slippers. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'm telling the truth, though. Maybe that's it. I think we are in the geriatric aisle. I think that's the problem. They're were, they were like, how old's Greg? He's 60. All right, let's put him next to LASIK and the, and the rubber slippers. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, though. And pe people, are bringing, pe people are bringing you enemas and, uh, enemas and fucking catheters and, you know, me. <laughs> It's fucking we, true. We gave people a discount if you brought your social security card, you know, or, or like your, your Medicaid card. So it was it was good. It's a, but it's true, you're right. It, next door to us was people. It was nothing but lazy. It, it, get get uh, a discount on LASIK laser for your yeah. eyeballs. Across from us 
guys with rubber, those like a uh, rubber Rub slippers. Rubber maybe. slippers. And dudes are doing push ups and shit. <laughs> and and rubber two slippers. doors down there are giving neck massages. Dude, I honestly think we are the geriatric section. <laughs> that was the problem. No, they were doing that neck massage. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Holy Christ. Someone wrote AARP. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, it, it's true, though. It's true. It was never like that. No. There was a lot of shit that had nothing to do with bodybuilding, and everybody's selling T-shirts and shit. People, yeah. I saw people freaking out over these fucking guys throwing out T-shirts, and, you know, there's a big crowd. You're getting a shirt. You don't even know what you're going to fucking wear. You're probably never no. going to wear it. You know what there I mean? Were, because so few companies actually gave something away, the companies that were throwing out T-shirts and shit, those people would have cut somebody to get a T-shirt. Oh, did yeah. you see? Did you see them going crazy for like nothing for like free samples or like a T-shirt? I remember going. You would have like those giant plastic bags, and you would fill that. You would have supplements for you know T-shirts and hats or whatever for the next year, right? After, right. after going to a big show, this one it was like. Remember when we tried to get a drink? Oh God! Do you re I remember. <laughs> Do you remember she poured this much in the glass? Frank and I walk over to some fucking, we walk over to some booth and we're like, they're like, oh, you got to try, come here, try our amino acid drink. We, they gave us a half a shot glass full. Frank's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> it looked like something, he puts his contact lens in or something. You, you, you even asked her, you go, can I just get a can? She goes, well, I'll pour it for you. And I swear to God, she poured it this, this, I was like. Right. Meanwhile, they were giving out cans to everybody else. You and I were giving a fucking shot glass. Not even a shot glass. It was half a shot glass. We're like looking at each other. We should have thrown it over our shoulder. But we drank it. We were, out, we were thirsty. Oh, you know? so freaking funny. It and then funny. also, another funny thing is what we were talking about. Some people that didn't want to take pictures with me. Remember that? We, yeah, I mean, well, because there's people, because there, some people I think were afraid of you. It was weird. It was they were weird. They afraid of you. you Frank, you're so fucking big. You, you, are you walking through the fucking aisles? They were like fucking people would part, you know what I'm no, saying? No, no, no. The, the, remember the pro? I'm not going to say his name, but remember the pro that they said wasn't going to take a picture with me? Which pro was it? I don't remember. I, there, was a cup, there was a couple that came by. Remember? No, the big one. We were going to go, and Lee said there's no way he's going to take a picture with you. Wait, Lee. Oh, was it over with the booth with Lee? Remember we went looking for Rami? Big Rammy? Yes. And, yes. and Lee, Lee said he's never going to take a picture with you? I know exactly what you're talking about. Yes. Yeah. And it, it's actually a pro that I'm friends with, too. Yeah, that's uh, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's yep. strange. It's strange. That's right. Anyway, you know why? Because there's a lot of guys, Frank. I'm going to be honest with you. You're so fucking big. There's a lot of guys who don't. Dude, there's a lot of guys who, like, they, you know, they are known for being big. They don't want, you know, they're afraid, you know, because you're so big. They were afraid that, like, you know, you would show them up. I mean, you're yeah. humongous. But, but you, know? you know what? I, I, and I think... I think you said this about 700 times. Um, <laughs> I'm as humble. I don't see myself that way. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's why so many people relate to me is... I just, I'm a regular guy. Like, I have a regular life. I, you know, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a dad, and, you know, I, I just do my life and work out and all that stuff. But, um, you know, I, I don't see myself as, I guess, people assume that I would see myself. Right. So when people see me coming and they're like, oh, this guy's probably going to fucking, you know, take a picture and, and, you know, blast it all over the place and try to make me look bad or whatever, that's not me. You know, like like Christian just wrote, I'll tell you who the co coolest person was. You weren't with us at the time. But no, but I'm I walking, know what you're going to say. Uh, yeah, I'm walking yeah. around with Christian, right? And then all of a sudden, like, Jacob, Cutler, he's looking at his phone, and Christian was like, yes, we got Cutler. And he's looking at his phone, and he was, like, right in front of me, but he had his head down. And he just like this, he goes, Holy <laughs> shit. And he goes, you're a big fucking guy. Now, for Cutler to say that, dude, you know what I mean? Especially me, you know, coming from where I've come from and, and whatever, to get a compliment like that, that was fucking awesome. And then, uh, you know, we took the picture and, you know, we <laughs> we posted the picture. You saw the picture, right? Yeah, you look at 
Yeah. I saw a color too. He, he, was a he looked at he moment. looked at it. He goes he goes. Let me see that picture. And I showed him. He goes, Jesus Christ. You know, and then Christian was cracking up because he's like, holy fuck. <laughs> he made him look like a little kid, but... Well, people don't realize is that, you know, there's a lot of guys like, you know, myself, like I said, I'm five foot six and yeah. I'm wide, but not anymore, but you're big, like two. You're not just wide, but you're five. How tall are you? Six four. Holy, f I mean, six four. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Most bodybuilders are, you know... With my height or a little bit taller, you know what I mean? You're five nines, like big for a bodybuilder. Ronnie Coleman's only like five ten, five eleven. Everybody thought he was all tall and everything like that. And you know, I'm just saying, you know, See, a lot of the bodybuilders of my height are even smaller. So when you get a guy like you, and it's not like you're just big arms. There are a lot of guys in there, you know, shoot the shit out of their arms and walking around like. But your fucking shoulders are wide. You're to stick to the chest. Your fucking legs are big. You know, you're like this walking wall. You know. I think what surprised everyone is I was, you know, I was there last year with five percent, and when I went last year, I was just getting myself back from my head injury. You know what I mean? So for the past right. year, for the past year, I'm getting me back. So a lot of people that saw me last year and then saw me this year. I think we're like, holy shit, you know, because I probably put on a good 30 pounds of muscle and got leaner from last year. But people don't understand, that's where I was before. Just, you know, I had my hit, my injury last year. So I think a lot of people were surprised at my change. And I, I think, uh, you know, how they came at spurts, you know, people were like, holy shit. And then, you know, they came over for the pictures and whatever. I just don't think people were used to seeing me that way. You know what I mean? Because I, ne I never really went out when I was my full size. I didn't go to... I saw people just standing there just staring at you like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, especially there's a lot of people who, who were there, like we were just talking about, mm -hmm. who were not involved in like bodybuilding. I don't know. They look like grandpa, grandma, farmer and shit like that walking around. Yeah. And then, you know, and they even got bags of supplements. But, uh, and, you know... Yeah, everyone like, but us. Like, what the fuck? You know? every, everybody, everybody, but us. They they got pumping hard and and you know every supplement to make you grow. We walked on there like, yeah, here, here, take take a little bit of this or, or a shot glass and drink like. That. Yeah, we walked through there. Guy <laughs> handed me a bag. I said, oh, shit, somebody's actually giving me a little free supplement. I opened up the bag. It was a flyer in there. It was nothing in there. I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? <laughs> Remember the strippers gave us the cards? I think that was yeah. the most I got. They're like, oh yeah, I remember. They're like, oh you guys should go tonight. <laughs> 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 At least we got something. Yes. Oh, God. That's great. I remember that. Yeah. And she wasn't even all that, by the way. I saw a lot. No. Dude, no. Jessica Padilla. Padilla, however you say her name. Incredible. You see the incredible. She dude. looked incredible. Woo! Dude, yeah. I would live in the bathroom a week <laughs> just to smell one of her farts. I swear to God. She was, <laughs> I'm convinced that ass was like a catcher's mitt. I'm convinced. <laughs> That nothing bad could come out of that I ass. swear to God, even... even she is, is Lucia right there? Ask her. Yeah, even right she... After, you know me, I talk in front of her all the time. Even, even her, she was like... <coughs> she, oh, goes, yeah. she goes, now that's nice. <laughs> it was funny. It's true. They start speaking that Spanish shit, too. It's like fucking yeah. music to me. I love it. Yeah, I you know? <laughs> but, but, bro, dude, I'm convinced... <laughs> That out of Jessica Padilla's ass, there's nothing bad comes from there. I'm convinced that when, when, if she shits, it smells like... She doesn't shit, first of all, I'm convinced. But if she was to shit, I'm convinced it smells like fresh-based cookies or brownies or something. We go, that smells so delicious, you know? <laughs> that was some... Dude. Gee, woo! She was... A, I love her, man. She was so, and she's such oh. a good girl, man. Oh Dude, it didn't God. matter how tired we were. We were like, oh, hey, picture? Can we get a picture? <laughs> oh, oh, she, oh, my God. Listen, there was, usually there's a lot more hotter girls there. She's like, you know, uh, Crystal's laughing at She said your face is red. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh. Crystal's a hottie, too, by the way. She's yeah. a hot girl. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, she is. But let me... Let me tell you something. Yeah, we were freaking out. I mean, usually there's a lot of girls there. Some of these yeah. girls have nerve wearing some of the outfits I'm sitting there. You know, and, you know, I saw a girl with like blob and a fucking and an earring through the fucking belly button. I'm like, really? You know yeah. what I mean? You got to be yeah. kidding me. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's it's. There, there, was, 
There was a lot of ten pounds. Of, there was a lot of ten pounds of shit in a five pound bag walking oh, around. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. There was a lot <laughs> of that there, and a yeah. lot of fucking. You know, same thing with the you know with some of the guys. I'm like, you really, dude? Not for nothing, but uh, yeah, yeah. You know, give me a break. You know, yeah, but not um, for nothing. But we stopped wearing those shorts in 1982. <laughs> you see some of the guys with the short shorts and the fucking socks pulled up. I don't know. I, I'm I'm old. I, I don't know. I look at some people. I'm just like, what are you wearing, dude? No, that that's funny because there's still dudes walking around with like the baggy pants and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, there was a the collection of everything. Pants. Yeah, you people. Some people got no pride. I mean, they don't, you know, they don't give a shit. You know, I'm sitting. You know, we don't ever say. But it was, it was. You know, it was a fun time. You know, I mean, we. We had a blast. And going to Lee Priest Booth, just seeing Lee looking at you, that was like fucking hysterical. You know what I'm saying? That really was, because I remember how he was like, holy fuck. Because before that, I brought him my friend, Alessandro Savi, who's yeah. a mass monster, but he's 5'1". 5'1", 255 pounds. You know? And Lee Priest says to me, holy shit, finally I'm taller than somebody. And then you come in there and it's like this. Like, you know, it's like... <laughs> And then I tried to give him a compliment because I was trying to tell him, I said, you know, I came to the Arnold, you know, back in the 90s. I go, there's no way in hell you're going to remember me. But, you know, you went out of your way. It was back when he was with his, uh, remember his wife? Um, the hell was her name? Oh, uh, um, uh, yeah, uh, the bodybuilder there. The right? bodybuilder, yeah. Kathy huh. Lee Priest, though. Kathy yes, Lee Priest. Yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. So they're there together. They went out of the way. They talked to me. They're probably like, this fucking poor guy. You know what I mean? And I came back in 2001. You know, he didn't recognize me. So he had a lot to do with Le Francois. That was her name. Kathy Le Francois or something. Kathy yeah, Le Francois, yeah. but then she became Kathy Le or whatever. So Kathy Lee you know, they, they were pretty implemental at the time to giving me inspiration and making my change. You know what I mean? Right. And I'm trying to tell him, you know, Trying to thank him, let him know that I was the same person. Doubt he remember, but I'm trying to talk to him. But meanwhile, he's just doing this. <laughs> he's looking at me. He goes, "When I was all done, he goes, how big are your arms? How much do you weigh? You know what I mean?'" And those were questions that I used to ask him. It was pretty funny. Oh well, not for nothing, but I mean, you know, how could you avoid that? Like I said, you're like a wall, and you go in there, and you know. Let, you know, he, you know, Lee Lee is one of the greatest bodybuilders in my opinion. Because you know, especially small I agree. Bodybuilders. He was amazing. And, and, he, he was my favorite. Him and Lavroni were my two favorites. Yeah, I, I we saw Kevin uh, that night. Uh, me and Strength Addicts right there, Chris, and you know, we were Kevin and everything. Kevin is uh, Kevin's a good guy, bro. I hope, I hope Kevin, uh, if he's watching this, bro, I hope you win. You know that. You know, we had a talk. That's that awesome. Night. Yeah, I hope he wins. He's got a show coming up, Lavrone. Yeah. I love Kevin Lavrone. He's, he's doing the uh, the Australia. Is that what he told me he's doing? I don't, he's the Arnold doing, Australia. Yeah. Yeah, Christian. Uh, was, he was telling me what he was doing, but you know, I we were gabbing so much. I don't fucking. I'm a guinea, bro. I can't remember half the shit. You know, I I can't remember half of what I talked about. You know, five minutes ago. You know. You know who wrote me when I got oh. back? Say, and this was almost surreal that he said this. Um, Michael Hearn. Michael oh, Hearn Michael. wrote me, and he said that he was trying to, you know, he wanted to hook up and get a picture and stuff like that. That's a really good guy. I like, I like Michael Hearn a lot. Um, he told me that they're bringing back. He was with my mentor. My mentor is Dan Carr, and Dan right. Carr was a, was a world champion arm wrestler, and he came up with American Gladiators. Remember the original American Gladiator? Right. And he was tightened on American Gladiators. Um, he's bringing it back. And O'Hearn's going to be part of the new American Gladiators, which is pretty cool. As a matter of fact, Dan asked me, he's like, you know, would you be interested in trying not to be one of the, the regulars? I'm like, dude, I got too many problems. Wait, one one shot in the head, I'm done. So, but um, <laughs> uh, I think people forget, I think people forget, I'm, you know, I'm 46. They, I'm not, I'm not running around doing nothing. You know what I mean? I get winded tying my shoes. So, uh, you know, I, yeah, come on. You tie your shoes, you fucking know if you're going to sit back up, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, people, I mean, uh, I talked to Raleigh Winkler, came in there, was hugging me. I didn't even know who it was because he had a hood on, and only this much of his face was showing. You, you see how much size he put on? Yeah, he I mean, got you want to talk about someone put on size in a short period of time. Dude, but he he's a man. I mean, he can, I don't know how much bigger he can get, you know? And, he can't uh, get any bigger. He just needs, I think if he just gets a little detail, a little bit more detail now. 
that he put on right. the size, right? Is that what you think held him back from playing uh, higher this year? I, I think he, I think he's almost too big. You have to get, you need, you know, he, he needs more of the, you know, he got to flow a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? His yeah. flow is a little, I mean, you want to get into sheer mass. His mass is unbelievable, but yep. you know his, you know the structure, you know, because he got that, you know, when he does the double bicep, it's almost like, like you know, yep. it's, it's just, yep. you know, there's nothing like when a gut sucks in and everything pops. Yeah. But when he was hugging me, I was look, I didn't even know who the fuck it was because it looked like an Eskimo. You know what I mean? I saw the. Sort of, <laughs> <laughs> and I told him, "Holy shit, Raleigh, what are you doing, bro?" You yeah. know, and uh, you know, he, you know, he, he was, he was just telling me, like, you know, he was getting sick of the shit, kind of, you know what I mean, like, ah, you know. But he looked yeah. good. I mean, he looked good to me. He didn't look thrilled. You know, I watched the replay last night, and I saw when they gave him the award. He didn't look thrilled about it. He got most. See, this is the thing I never understood. How do you get most muscular, but then place fourth or fifth? That doesn't make sense to me. Mm. I don't know. A lot of shit don't make sense. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, Branch Warren used to always get most muscular, right? Right. And then he would get most muscular, and then he'd win the Arnold. So if you watch his face, when they award him most muscular, and I mean 10,000 is 10,000, but still, you see him start going crazy because I think he thought, oh, shit, maybe I won, right? Right. But, he, you know, he didn't even take in the top three, right? So... I don't know. I don't understand how you be how you're most muscular, but you don't win the show. I mean, it's it, a it's a it's a bodybuilding. It is. It's a strange. Thing. Usually, yeah. a lot of times that was you know they would as a consolation prize they would give best poser back yeah. in the old days. Like Ed Corny yeah. wouldn't win the show, but he would win best poser. Okay, but most muscular usually uh, is a sign of like who is in the best Who's condition. Win? Yeah, and that means you exactly. should win the show. You know, what that's I mean? what I thought. But it, you know, very, very strange. You, you you don't know like what they think. You know, like who who yeah. the fucking uh uh like even um you know like think what the, the way the judges think. You, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? I told you there was a famous judge who Christian I was showing that night. You know, we all went to dinner later. Who uh, he came over to us and I was talking with him, and I was telling Christian I said who he was, and I said that's the judge who told me we I was at um. I was at the Universe Pose Down years uh, about four or five years ago, and there were 450 bikini girls. Jesus. 450. Now, yeah. i got to tell you something. I was backstage with them, and after a while, you, from here down, every one of them looked exactly the same. Of I course. mean, you, you 450 chicks with fake tits, abs, and tight ass, you know, and tan. You know what I mean? Yeah. Folk, they looked the same. Yeah. So, I asked him, I said, how do you pick who wins, man? Come on, how the 450 goes? How do you pick who wins? You know what he told me? I pick which five I would fuck first, and that's it. <laughs> I swear to God, he said, hey, Christian, you know who I'm talking about. You don't want to say his name here, I ain't getting in no trouble, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. Christian knows who I'm talking about. I, I'm just saying, you know, you sit back and you sit there and you say, how the fuck do you judge some of this shit, you know? I mean, it, it was crazy. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, you see these bikini girls, I mean... You know, for me, Jessica Padilla, you, you win every one of them. Yeah. It was unbelievable, but, you know, <laughs> what was I going to say? There's a few people, Frank, asking how big your arms are. And, and, uh, 26. Here, is, uh, 26. 26 inches. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, let me tell you something. His shoulder width is so fucking, I can't even tell you, bro. It's so I could wait, lay sideways like this, and I think his shoulder, his shoulder is a wider than me. If he laid sideways like this on the ground, I think Frank is fucking six foot this way. <laughs> Frank's like Frank's like six four, six five this high, this way, and this way he's six feet. He's almost the square. You know. You remember, I mean? remember how hard we were laughing just walking around, listening to some of the shit people were saying. Oh yeah. Oh, it's funny. And seeing these kids, seeing all these kids. They're running around like it's trick or treat with those bags, right? Opening, you know, you see them running, all, trying to get free shit. I right, see Rob DiMaggio, our guy, smart. He put all, em whoops, he put all empty bottles out. So if you steal one, you stole a bunch of air. <laughs> so if we're all looking, if you're not looking like this, and somebody ran up to us like this, they yeah. got a bottle of empty air. Yeah. Well, I knocked it over about ten times because I, I kept hitting the friggin' table. 
And then all the bo- bottles start going everywhere. I'm like, what the hell's in that shit? She's like, oh, they're empty. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That, that's it. People coming over. Oh, yeah, what is this? Uh, you know, and they're, you know, and then they pick it up when it feels empty because they were hoping but it was a free sample. Of course. Oh, yeah, you know, and people okay. have, that's what everybody's looking for, though. It was, it was yeah. really, really funny. Um, yeah. Somebody's asking some shit here. Do you guys who want ate, to ask? They're, they're asking who ate more, Greg Kovacs or Matarazzo. That's an easy one. Kovacs was ridiculous. What, what was he? Kovacs was lean, what, 10, 15 years ago at 405, wasn't he? he, he yeah, but you know what? It wasn't pretty. I can tell you this much. <clears throat> no, it definitely wasn't pretty. As big as Craig Kovacs was, and I don't care how much he ate, Matarazzo would have ate him up on the street. <laughs> Say that Montrezo yeah. was a monster. Yeah, he was a was a no bullshit kind of guy. Yeah. But um, you know, you know, I I I couldn't uh, Greg bring Frank to big to seaside book sometime where you guys was yeah because uh, that's my boy Turnpike Mike Mike Dietzy and uh, he um he's a good friend of mine from back in the day you know so he knows mm-hmm. all the drug dealing shit with me but anyway <laughs> he runs a boardwalk. Is that the guy I met? Is that the guy no, I met? No, no, he's a, okay. no, that's another one. That was my <laughs> dealing partner. But uh, back in the day, so if anybody's listening to this, simmer down with that. That was a fucking, you know, a long time ago. Yeah. But, um, uh, no, that uh, Mike Deeds, right there, used to run the boardwalk. All the all the clubs were in Snooky, and all of them were in the club, you know what I mean? The, 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 the Jersey Short Kids. Yeah, so yeah. He's saying hello to you. He's a big, you know. He What's up, brother? Him. How I you doing? I like him, man. Bro, he's the Bush monster, man. He would have dude. Yeah. You would have loved Jessica Petit, dude, that ass. Like, you ever remember the movie? You remember the movie with uh, True Lies with Schwarzenegger, mm-hmm. right? When he's sitting in the car with Bill Paxton. Yeah. Bill Paxton's talking about Arnold's wife, who was Jamie Lee Curtis in the movie. And mm-hmm. he's talking about her ass, and he goes, she's got an ass like a 10-year-old boy. I mean, it's tight. Like, that's the way Jessica did it. It didn't even, ass. you know what? It didn't even look real. That's, yeah. that's how perfectly put together she was. She didn't even look real. Like it, it ah, crazy. Did she compete that weekend? Yeah, I think she placed. Uh, <coughs> I don't know, was it third, fourth, fifth, something like that? You know, yeah. she um, you know, uh, she she was she's a really she, somebody yeah. saying here. I guess she was she she was hot as hell on a strip skate. I don't know. No, I don't, they're talking. They're talk, like, he's he's talking about Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, yeah, they, I hope so. They, <laughs> a lot of girls, a lot of bikini girls were strippers. You know, what I mean, that's or shot or shot girls. <laughs> yeah, a, a, right. a lot of them are shot girls and strippers. That's what people, you know, that's what I try to tell a lot of people. A lot of girls out there, right, they think, oh, I want to be a pro. I want to be a pro this. I want to be a pro, a pro com- you know, bikini competitor and all this stuff because they want the fame and the fortune, whatever. There's no fortune. No. You're never, you're never going to make what you put into it. It's a hobby, you know, and I, I think they start to realize that, and then they put so much into their body, they're like, fuck, what am I going to do now? So then, you know, they start, you know, they start turning and stripping and, and, you know, working in bars and stuff like that. People don't understand, even to get in a magazine, these magazines these days, you're paying to get in the magazines because you have to pay the photographer that's contracted by the magazines to even have a shot of getting in. So, you know, if you're going to do it, you, you got to get in for the right reason. You got to get in because it's your hobby and you love doing it, not because you think you're going to be famous and rich because there's, right. there's no wealth coming from this sport. You know what no, I'm saying? No, there's no wealth. All the bodybuilders, that's why all the bodybuilders are doing their own supplements now. Everybody's got a supplement coming out. Yeah. And uh, I'll tell you right now, man, you know, it, it's, uh, I mean, it's it's a crazy, it's a crazy thing because even guys, look at, look at Phil Heath. Yeah. Phil Heath was gifted nutrition with the, and you know he's that's his name right yeah. the gift Phil Heath the gift and yeah. he got fired from that shit. You, know what I'm <laughs> I know. you know what I mean that's like Big Frank nutrition and they say to you a Frank you fired you know what I mean I mean think about it <laughs> oh Holy my God. Christ Almighty you know and uh, I uh, I don't know were you I, did you, did I don't know if you were there with me or if I talked to you. Maybe I didn't talk to you about this. I don't know. But I, I heard. Woo! I don't. I'm not going to get into names. I probably shouldn't even bring this up. But man, there was there's a lot of shit brewing with that fucking SARMs and 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 uh. Oh. I was talking to SARMs and the fucking peptides and shit and all that stuff. You know, 
Uh, one of the guys who's very, 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 very famous. You and I could talk later. If, if yeah. you don't well, I, know, I know exactly what you're talking about because I'm the idiot that asked him if, if he was, uh, because he put out a video. We won't mention his name, but he no. put out a video a while ago saying that he was very interested in it and he was going to be looking into it and, you know, bringing it, you know, to people's attention, whatever. So I asked him, I said, oh, you know, you still, you still looking into the arms, you know, all that stuff. He goes, stay away from it. So it's just, oh. just as illegal as everything else. And I don't think people realize that, that you can buy it, but then if you have it, it's illegal. Well, That's the nice. thing is, you're not supposed to, listen, he, he put it perfectly to me, because a lot of these companies are supposedly going to get hit hard. And yeah. there's a monster rat. It, I, I'm a little shocked, you know, to find yeah. out that this guy's a rat. Well, you and I, I'll talk to you about it. I'm not I know that, I know, we, are, we already talked about who it was. Okay, so I wasn't sure if you and I talked about it or not there. Yeah, but, I don't remember, but hey, there's hey, a the, monster hey, rat. Greg, the baseball player's friend. Yes, you are, okay, so then we talked. Okay, yeah. all yeah. right. And when I heard about that, and this guy, this guy who told us this is, is knows his shit. And I'm just saying, he even said to me, think about it. You can go buy Viagra from one of these peptide companies yep. and for human research. But there's, it's, it's an illegal something. There's no human research involved in, unless you're using, uh, you know, like Bunsen burners and beakers and shit. It doesn't matter because he's saying, you, what about cocaine? You could say cocaine for, you know, for uh, human research. Uh, there's going to be a lot of that research shit yep. of what I hear is coming. Woo, there's going to be a big like gonna, shit. He said they're going to get busted it, with, with, no, with, with no warning. And the, the sad part is because they've been getting away with it for so long, they're getting sloppy. And they're targeting first all the ones who are putting, like, a bodybuilder in the picture. So it'll say research, research only, but it's got a picture of a bodybuilder. Like, right. I mean, you got to use your fucking head, too. You know what I'm saying? Right, they're and, not a chemist. They're and they're, they're looking for the one, they're looking for the, they're looking for the research companies that only sell the products and not the equipment to do the testing. Right. Too. Remember? He, he yep. said, you know, a, a legit company would have all the stuff to run tests. On it. Right. If they're not doing that and they only have the chemicals, that's a red flag too. So all these guys, they're they got some problems coming. That's scary. That's what he. That's exactly what he said. And when you think about that shit, bro, I know dudes. You know, I'm friends with a lot of these guys, and he was throwing names, and you know, and this guy who you know, trust me, even yeah. he, his name was on a list. So he was yep. telling me, you know, yep. feds came. You know, so this ain't no bullshit. And, and he's smart enough. He's smart enough to, to like know what to say and whatever. And they didn't want to hear anything. They were just flat out right. saying, look, we know what it is. You know, like <laughs> it's not for research. It's not, you know, so these guys, because all because of the rat that tried to get himself out of trouble. Right. right. And he blow, blew in the whole industry for everything that's happening. So, um, you know, he's going to, once everyone starts getting busted, you know, he can have a lot of fun when he eventually, you know, gets, gets out or, you know, you know what I'm saying? Well, the person that we're talking about too is a lot of people wonder how he gets away with what he got away with and how come he's not busted. But anyway, yeah, that's another story in itself, you know, yeah. and it, let's, we'll switch channels here before we cause trouble. Yeah. Uh, so you went over to the 5% booth. How, how, did, yeah. how did that go? It went great. You know, and I think I told you, you know, since since all that garbage happened, right, I've stayed positive. You know what I mean? I mean, it is what it is. They, like, I say it all the time. This is a hobby. This is fun for me. Where are you going to go fucking hate on people, you know, because I'm not, you know, 5% anymore? Right. Um, Rich reached out to me. He became a friend. You know what I mean? You know what happened to him? He passed away. That sucked. That was number one. Number two, once Chanel left, it was like... Okay, now it's really not the same at all. You know what I'm saying? So, it would, the only thing that was left was, all right, it's cool. I still got friends on the team, and then that all left. So it's like, okay, well, this isn't fucking fun anymore. You know what I mean? So, either way, I, th there was no way in hell I, I was gonna gonna stay. And then you remember, uh, you know who came over and, and said that they're they uh you know that they were talking about you know asking me to come back or whatever that's not going to happen you know what i mean and and you kind of yeah. jumped up you jumped up and spoke for me you're like no nah, he's not going back 
<laughs> but, um, you know, I went over, you know, I said hello. I said hello to, uh, you know, the guys over there. And I- I'll tell you one thing that upset me a little bit. And I don't know if I mentioned this to you or not, but um, I don't, you know, they were all fine with me. That, that was all great. But there's one guy who's a demo rep still for him, right? And he competed in the strongman, all right? He's a disabled strongman, strongman, all right? So right. he's got one leg. On Sunday, he brought that little boy that I kind of took under my wing all summer and, and, you know, dedicated my arm wrestling thing to him and whatever his name is, Garrett Engel. Um, he treated him to the Arnold, right? Brought him in, brought him with the disabled. Hold on. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> they shut up pretty quick. Those dogs shut right up. It's those dogs. Um, so he treated the family to, the, to a weekend at the Arnold and, and, you know, did a lot for the kid to inspire him and whatever. I kept going over to the booth and I, you know, I was asking, you know, where is he? And people are looking at me like, who? You know what I mean? And that bothered me. And I just feel, I wish that they would have, demo rep or whatever he is, I don't care what he is, he's still part of the 5% team. I mean, at least make mention for him. You know what I mean? It, he was the only person competing. I mean, talk about athlete. He was an athlete at the freaking Arnold, and he placed fourth, which is wow. amazing, right? Right. And, you know, I kind of – that was the only thing that kind of burned me up a little bit. You know, I told one of the guys over there, I'm like, you know, it, it really bothers me that, that no one really did anything for this guy. And, and uh, I didn't get a chance to tell you. When he was leaving – Right. First, I know he was a little bit upset because no one mentioned anything. Right. Right. Then he's leaving, trying to get through the crowd in his wheelchair because he took his leg off. Some asshole bumped into him, knocked him out of the wheelchair. No. Yeah. No fucking way. Yeah. I told him right out. I'm like, dude, if I was there and I would have I would have lost my mind. Someone wasn't fucking paying attention, knocked him right out of the fucking wheelchair. So here's his day. All right. Well, I competed, but. No one really say anything. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go chill out in the in the hotel or whatever. He gets knocked out of his fucking wheelchair. So you know whatever. I, I just I just want I want to send a you know a shout out to him. You know Cyborg over on on Instagram. Let him know that um, I'm, I'm real proud about what he does. I want to thank him for bringing that little boy Garrett over there and and being an inspiration. And, and I really hope that those guys you know they're gonna lose they're gonna lose a good guy. He's, he's I mean he's a great guy and a competitor and. And a motivator and, and stuff. You got to start thinking, man. You know, guys like that could reach out to so many people to prove that anything's possible. Give them his credit. You know, right, that's going to that's going to cause that could cause a lot of trouble for for you know for them over there. That's not that's not cool, man. You yeah. know, that's that's really uncool. And that yeah. dude, you know, whoever knocked them over, I would have. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit at all. Yeah. You know, but he so, came back. He came back the next week. Yeah, he said once he got knocked out, his anxiety went through the roof. He was just like, "All right, I'm fucking out of here." So he left. But then he came back the next day, and he was fifth on that day. Wound up doing even better. Placed placed fourth at the Arnold. I mean, how many people would say they placed at the Arnold? You know, so at least at least I'm giving him a little credit now because no one no one did anything for the poor fucking guy. You know, so uh, good and, for him. That's awesome. And the five percent people. Uh, they, they act like you don't exist. What, what's with that? I don't think some of them even know him. Like, like a couple of the guys did go watch him. Thank God. But it, you know, some of the people I'm, I asked where he was, and they're like, oh, I, don't know, I don't know who he is. You know, and it's like, well, oh, he's competing here, and that's why I wish. And I understand that because even when I was on the team, I didn't know who everybody was. You know what I mean? Sure. You, get, you get to know people. But I think something should have gone up on the page. You know, come see, come see our five percent guy. You know, what? I don't care if you're, I don't care if you're a, a demo rep, a forklift driver, a, a truck driver, or, or what your job is. If you're doing something, at least mention that you're still part of the fucking family or the team, right? I mean, right. even if I, even if I was at another company and someone that I used to be on five percent did something fucking great, I'm still gonna say. Oh well, that's awesome. Like like Mike over at uh, Condemn Labs, right? I like I love the guys at Condemn Labs. I'm always going to say I love those guys at Condemn Labs. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, you still mention those guys. You don't just say, oh, oh well, fuck it. You know, I'm I'm here for me. Who wants to take a picture? That doesn't make sense. Uh, no, I I agree with you, man. I I totally agree. I think that that's wrong. They should acknowledge, especially once you have an athlete that's in the show. You yeah. should let everybody know, hey, guys, one of our guys is in the show. And, right. you know, because there's plenty of other guys just standing around, you know. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, that's the guy you got to give the credit to. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so we're going to give a shout out to Cyborg. Good going. 
Nice going. You know, yeah. you know, we give you props, you know, and tell my mother-in-law to stop barking in the background. But, um, <laughs> and were you in the bathroom when I told that guy, uh, it, you know. I, oh, my God. <laughs> You're <laughs> Dude, you, when you go, you're lucky I like you. I piss on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you were there with me. Because he was a nice guy. I was playing around with him. I said, hey, you're lucky I like you. He was mopping the floor. The poor bastard just piss all over the floor. And he's mopping the floor. Remember, I was telling him, it better be paying you good. And then I said, you're lucky I like you. I would have peed on the floor. But he knows I was kidding around with him. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> when, you stole the, when you stole the water from the strong man. <laughs> oh, dude, I stole a couple of their waters. I had a look. They kept looking at me like this, like this. And I'd wait. When you guys were talking, remember, I came back with more waters. I, re I re reached over to railing and I was pouring. Dude, you, you know, we're sitting at the booth. And I'm, I feel like a guy on a desert island. I'm watching people walking by drinking a cold drink. And I'm like this. I you swear know? God. My lip kept sticking to my teeth. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Shit, man. That was funny, though. That was funny. Oh one year, I, I had a shit in there, and it was a, so I took down one of Sean Ray's posters. It was in the fucking booth, and I wiped my ass with it. They had no toilet paper. You know what I mean? Wait a minute. Didn't you say that you wiped your ass with a ham sandwich? Yeah, oh, that was when I was in jail. Yeah. It wasn't, it was a, it was a bologna sandwich. It was the bread. And it irritated my ass. So oh, my God, and yeah. Off. And you had to start scooting. Like, you ever, see, you ever see your dog when your dog wipes his ass on the carpet and he fucking, he goes across the carpet like this and shit, you know what I mean? The dog's like fucking going like this and shit. I was doing that shit on the floor and I was I was handcuffed to other prisoners because it was whole wheat bread. And the whole wheat got that fiber in it and it, and, it, and, it, and it fucking irritated my ass, you know, it was bad, you know? Oh my God. Yeah, See, this is the shit we were talking about and I'm over here crying as you're talking and people are looking at it like, what the fuck is wrong with those two? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, seaweed, my God. Seaweed. <laughs> That's why I couldn't eat that shit. My kids have been saying that since I got home, because I told them that story. Tell the story. Do you have time to tell the story? Yeah, I think so. Let me see. I'll tell you right now. Look, I got my flip phone right here. Uh, yeah, I got like three minutes. Really fast. I was in Seaside Heights. It was a really cold day, freezing out. I, 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 we're on the beach, my kids, everybody's moping, nobody's in the water, so I, uh, all of a sudden a shit bubble hits me, there's no sand dune or a fucking hole I could shit in, and when I got a shit, I can't hold it. So I ran like a fucking, like I ran like an animal, and I dove right into the water, and a fucking ice water, and everybody was like, yeah, look at this big bodybuilder, he's swimming in the fucking, nobody else had the balls to swim, but it was because I had a shit. So I'm shitting in the water, I'm like this, I pull my fucking pants up, we get back on the beach. My kid's like, I want to go back to the pool. Because we sleep. We go to Howard Johnson's got an indoor pool in Tom's River. So we go We go back to the pool. We dive in the pool. We're swimming. It's nice and warm in there. We're swimming around. And all of a sudden, my kids, they're going, Daddy, you got seaweed coming out of your pants. My my niece, Karina, and my daughter, Gina. They're, fucking, they're like, Daddy, you got seaweed coming out of your pants. And they're going, look, 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 Daddy, Seaweed. seaweed. And they're picking up all the green seaweed. And I look, and it wasn't seaweed. It was the salad I had the night before. It was chewed up lettuce. My my underwears acted like a strainer. You know what I'm saying? So the fucking, it, it acted like so it sh strained out the shit, but it kept the fucking lettuce that was in there. So I'm going, like I'm going to put that down. Get out of here. Go swim somewhere else. You know? I don't want them to see the. I don't want them to see. They don't know what they were touching. You know what I mean? It was, it was the lettuce for the salad I ate the night before. That's why when Christian brings us that fucking bowl with the grass and the fucking three pieces of meat, I'm like, dude, I eat that shit. Forget about it. Oh it looked like the grass, right? You know when you give your kids like Easter eggs and shit, the green grass with the little Easter eggs in it, right? That's what they were giving us to eat at the X ball. I'm saying, holy Christ, I eat the ball. I'm saying, holy Christ, I eat that shit. Forget it. It'd be seaweed all over again, you know? Oh, my God. Anyway, <coughs> we, we got a minute left. So, um, you want to plug, uh, you know, Big Frank's doing our shit. We got to do it. Plug yeah. your show. Yeah, well, my show, Ask Big Frank, is coming every week. Uh, we got an episode coming up. Uh, I don't know. I'm waiting for Christian to post it. So, um, 
you know, we're just going to have fun. This week is at the Arnold, and then every week, you know, like I said, I'm going to keep taking people. Uh, we're going to have fun and, uh, you know, bring people into my life. I'm going to come see you, and we'll, we'll film uh, yeah, my, yeah, show, yeah, we- my show with you, yeah, when we hang out and, you know, just tell stories and make fun of people. So we're going to have fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah, me, me and this guy get together. We can have a lot of fun. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. You got to, you got to bring your, you got to bring the bull. You got to bring Jimmy too. Oh, I bring Jimmy the bull. Forget about. It. We get a couple drinks. He'll be singing. Oh, 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 fuck. He sings opera. Fucking plays the piano. <laughs> but anyway, we got seven seconds remaining. Frank, I love you. It was great hanging out with you.